Well, 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 come back everybody. This is Etho and we are back again with some more terra firma punk. Oh, it's a high tower, isn't it? I just got pushed off of a bridge I was building. My health is low. Trying to trying to hide there, but that didn't work. Just look at this bridge. Look at this bridge. It's beautiful. Yeah, so I was just minding my own business here, you know, building my bridge, placing my planks very very methodically, very meticulously, very maniacally. And then out of nowhere, Mountain Troll sneaks up on me and knocks me off into a bunch of mobs below. <laughs> like, I'm just getting surrounded here. The Mountain Troll was like on the end of the bridge like that guy is right there. And he, he was fine for a long time. And then he just decided to come get me. Uh-huh. So I haven't shown a whole, whole lot of the building, like with these uh, with these planks. It's pretty cool. Like you place lines, right? Not blocks. So you have a lot of control. I I just like the way it looks. Like you can do some cool stuff. Like this feels like a pretty good bridge, right? It doesn't have like a hang in the middle, you know. Like it does. It doesn't look like a. It maybe should, but. I mean, this this is me building here. This is as good as we're gonna get. <laughs> Uh-huh. So I want to I want to build a bridge across to this other hill here so that we can get get across easier, you know. We'll probably put some buildings over here as well. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this. All right. All right. Very good. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Let's go take a look. Go take a gander at how how beautiful our bridge is. Oh. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's great, right guys? Oh yes, yeah, very realistic. Very uh Yep. That reinforced wood, you know, it's it's got that strength, you know, it doesn't bend. Perfect. Okay. Cool. So that'll take us across here. I'm thinking we're gonna put like a brewing house, like a brew house over there. Um for all our pickling and all our brewing and all our potions and crazy stuff we, we need to do. Instead of like randomly having barrels all over the place over here. Uh, speaking of which, I kind of forgot about this cheese. <laughs> we sealed this back in the 5th of August. You might notice, uh, if we look at the trees here, they're starting to turn a little orange. There's no crops in our field whatsoever, and that is because we are actually on late autumn, 8th of November. So like over, what is that, three months? That cheese has been sitting in there? So cheese is supposed to last a very long time. I'm kind of curious what the decay level's going to be on this. Uh, 4.6%. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. We left that in there for three months. And it's, it's not doing too bad, actually. So that's cool. We can go get our dairy up a little bit with the chow down here. Um, I read something. There's, like, there's some stuff in here that's way more advanced than I realized. Even though I've played Terraforma Craft so many times, there's, like, always more to learn. Apparently, you can do, like, you can like smoke meats, you can you can do pickling, and all kinds of crazy stuff. And there's even like infusing. You can infuse flavors. So if we want lemon flavored cheese, which we do, I think there's a way to do that actually. Oh, that was not a split. There we go. Let's split it. I don't know how much we actually actually have to use to do this, but we'll we'll try it out. Okay, we got a mission here. We got a mission. Not gonna get us. Vinegar's ready. Okay, we got the vinegar. So, uh, whoa. <laughs> uh, I guess we had no game sounds up to this point. My bad. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully it's fixed now. Uh, you know, people can say what they want about fraps. You know, they like to make fun of it. Oh, it's old. It's laggy. Who uses fraps nowadays, right? It's yesterday's trash. Um, fraps always had my back, guys. It never once let me down. Are you going to be a good boy? Can I hit you without dying? Not really. Man, he's almost dead, though. Let's just leave him alone. Um, Yeah, you know, OBS is great when it works. You know, it, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. But every now and then, it's like, oh, you, you don't need that audio, do you? I mean, we're going to... We're going to not record that for you. Or, or that video for your video? Yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> Until you restart it. It's kind of frustrating. Um, okay, so I, I was wrong about the lemon infusion, by the way. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to get up another batch of... Uh, 
Oh, that's not how we do it. This guy. One more hit will do it. Oh! Oh, baby! Nice. I will take that pick. Come get me, man. Come get me. Come get me. Oh! Oh! Okay, he, he actually uh, dodged that pretty good. Muhammad. Come on, Muhammad. Ho. Oh. Got him. Whew. There's another one that way. I, I like ran that way to get, get away from him, and then it's like, oh, there's a guy over there too. Yeah, so we want to set up an area like over there for pickling, for brining, for brewing, for witch water, for making cheese, all that kind of stuff uh, with instructions on how to do it, because I keep forgetting. Like Even now, when I was trying to make the, the cheese, it's like, I put the soybeans in here, and it's like, okay, uh, nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> so we wanted to set up instructions on how to do everything and how how many ounces it takes to do it as well because some some things take like 10 ounces per like a thousand mill buckets some take 20 ounces per thousand and it's really confusing um yeah so what we got to do we need hot springs water to make milk i just remembered so that'll make milk we may, we wanted the vinegar to try out pickling so apparently like vegetables and stuff go in vinegar Eee, at least I think. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, well, we'll try it out here. We'll see if it works. I looked it up. It says uh, it takes four hours to finish. So we should find out pretty quickly here. And you need one bucket for every 16 ounces of food. And a full stack is uh, 160 ounces. So that's a full barrel exactly. So should be enough liquid in there. Um, I want to try out the smoking as well before we set up an area for it. Just to make sure... I understand how it works. I think you can smoke cheese, so we're going to try that out. And you can smoke brined meats. We haven't done any brining yet either, so that's another thing. Um, so apparently you can you can do that. <laughs> I had no idea. I've never seen that before in my life. Uh, I was just like randomly looking at the TerraFirmaCraft wiki page. I was like, wait, what is that? I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Oh, do we need straw? I think we need straw. It's been a while since I made a fire pit, too. And I hate making fire pits. I never remember how they work. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we got a fire pit underneath our string here. So that's good. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and have a juicy lemon for breakfast here. Get our food back up. So I just slept the night there, so our, our pickle should be done there, if, uh, if that works. We'll check that in a second. Uh, but let's try out the smoking here. So you want to use hickory wood, apparently. If you use other woods, it like doesn't work as well, I've, I've heard. So we might want to experiment with that. And then you just hang food from the string and leave it there for a few hours. And probably fill this up as much as you can so it doesn't die out on you. And we'll just see if that works. Try that out. Okay, let's go check on our, our pickled cabbage. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, some good old pickled cabbage. Everybody's dream, right? I don't think it worked. Okay, so check it out. Our fire used up all that hickory wood. It died down on us, so it's it's been smoking for quite a while. And I checked it already, and, and look at this. It's, it's dried cheese. Not smoked cheese. <laughs> so, didn't quite get it right. Drying cheese, though, also preserves it. So that's not a bad thing. I have a feeling we need to brine things to get them to smoke. Like, you might be able to brine cheese as well, I'm not sure. I think that's the key, though. The cabbage did not work, right? You gotta put it in brine. Now it worked. So this was full, totally full of brine before. Now it's used up, all this liquid. It's infused into our, our brine cabbage. It says it there now. Good. Now, if we want to keep that preserved... Um, we have to keep it stored in vinegar. That's the trick. Or does it pickle it? Uh, like, is that another step? I don't know if it's going to use up that liquid or not. I don't know. We'll, we'll try that out now. <laughs> oh, there's so many steps. So confusing. Oh, we got some vinegar here. Okay, so I think we can vinegar our milk. Milk plus vinegar mix. 
That'll make curdled milk. It's like, man, I thought uh, the metalworking was complicated. <laughs> it looks like we found a new thing. The food preservation's kind of crazy, too. Um, so how are we going to do this building? We're going to come across the bridge. Probably have a little bit of a outdoor area. Then the building somewhere around here. I think we're going to have to make the building go over top this like ravine. So otherwise, we're not going to have enough space over here. And then we want storage, like so much storage for barrels. Like we're going to have like hundreds of barrels, guys. That's the plan. We'll probably have an area over here. Probably an outdoor area as well. That way I don't have to build so many roofs. Before we do the building, though, let's focus on what really matters to us. The, the pickled cabbage, guys. <laughs> so it looks like it did finish here. It says it's pickled, right? It used a little bit of the vinegar up. It was This was full before 10,000. Um, now it says it's preserving. So what you do, you leave it in the vinegar, and this allows it to uh, decay slower by being in the vinegar. Um, so we probably want to have like lots of barrels of vinegar in our cellar, maybe? That we can keep our, our pickled stuff uh, fresh, you know? Exactly. Okay, so what I'm doing wrong, I'm trying to put 100 ounces of, of lemon in. You know, lemon is good and all, but that might be a little too much lemon. Let's go down to 12 ounces. Let's see if that'll work. Because if I try to put a big hunk of lemon in, it, it won't turn into cheese. But I think if we do one of these smaller chunks, now it's going to be lemon-infused cheese, guys. Oh my goodness, we figured it out. Alright, we're kind of out of lumber right now, so we got to get some more trees. Oh, and it broke. So a little follow-up on uh, last episode, by the way. We, we did the coke oven thing. We got our first stack of charcoal done. Ooh, and exactly 6,400 creosotes, so each one must give you 100. Um, it is slow. It is so slow, guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it takes, I think it's over a minute each log. It might be two minutes each log. Uh, I spent a bunch of time here, like, building our tree farm. The, I finished up the walkway for, for what we have uh, built already. So we can go all around here, you know, chop down the leaves nice and easy. And that took me about half an hour to an hour to build, and like 30 charcoal processed in that time. It was, it's, it's really slow. So we might need more of these if we can make more. Get some aspen wood. We'll try that out. Okay, so this is going to be the aging area for our barrels. Okay, so we're going to build like a little bit of a structure here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, let's see how this looks for a background. It's nice, plain old gray. Aspen logs, right? Then we'll have some shelves. And we're going to have to chisel these. We got chisel? We have chisel. Where's chisel? Need a hammer. Okay. Etho need hammer. Uh, take that away so it kind of looks like slabs. You cannot just place slabs in this. <laughs> uh huh. And then we can put barrels on top of that, right? That, that, I think that would look kind of cool. And then we'd have another row probably right here. And I'll leave a little bit of space. I don't have to make everything super compact. I want it to be a little bit decorative too. And then we'll go up probably two more two more logs, I would think. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think that could look cool, right? So then I'm thinking we also set up a wall here. Mm-mm. <laughs> We're running a little low on the aspen wood already. It's not gonna last long. Okay, next row of shelves here. Yeah, I guess we'll do it again over here. We'll have like these little U-shaped compartments, and maybe this compartment will be only for alcohol. This one might only be for pickles, you know? Just have our main categories all together sort of thing. All right, good stuff, guys. So we got a pretty good chunk of it done here. Uh, we just need to do the floor and the roof. I d yes, I know I'm crazy, right? I decided to put a roof on it. Not built yet, though, obviously. <laughs> but I kind of laid it out. I think this is the shape we'll go for. All right, we're going to need a lot of sequoia, and we don't have any really left around here, so we'll have to go make a trip for it. But yeah, this I think this feels pretty good to me. Each of these compartments will hold 16 barrels. 
So that's 32 total. Um, we might need more storage somewhere else, but like the vinegar we'll be putting down in the cellar that we make, and uh, whiskey eventually we'll be processing into biodiesel, I believe, and, and stuff like that, right? And I added the cheat sheet here, so this is the important thing to help me out. So alcohol production, we need fresh water. That's our base. Uh, we need 40 ounces of flour per barrel, and it takes 72 hours. And then this is the thing that tells you what it's going to make. So beer is made from barley, cider from apples, rum from sugar, sake from rice, vodka potatoes, whiskey is wheat, corn whiskey is corn, and rye whiskey is rye. So now I, I don't have to look anything up on the wiki page. I can just figure it out. Uh, milk production, hot springs is the base. And then soybeans, 20 ounces per bucket. And if we want to infuse some food in it, like we did with the lemons. Look at this, we got our lemon cheese. <laughs> yeah, I've been eating it, it's great. Uh, this just tells me that there's a 20 ounce max that we add to, to it when it's at the curd stage. Um, and then vinegar production, we need alcohol as the base. 100 ounces of fruit per barrel. Again, I won't have to look it up constantly. Very useful. Over here, we'll do our brine. We need salt water. Tells us how to make it. So the recipes are all included. It's going to be great, guys. It's going to be amazing. So that's that's the main storage area for this. I still want to build like another building for like making potions and stuff around here, I think. And we need a place for smoking or drying things, you know, like meat, like this thing here. I just had another idea here as well. We should set up uh, an area where we have like a five by five thing of barrels, maybe like something like this, or maybe four by four, um, where we'll just leave them open. And if it starts to rain, they'll automatically fill up with rainwater, fresh water. And we won't have to go down to the lake there to fill them up. It'll save a lot of time if we can just have them up here, you know? Aha, uh -huh. but I think we're going to take a break from that project. We got some other stuff we should do here. Um, need new tools. We need like more axes and scythes for that tree farm we built. Right now I see the trees are like grown and we can't harvest them because <laughs> we don't have a scythe anymore. Um, so we're gonna make some, some iron tools here. Also kind of curious about something. We got all these little nubs, these nibs, these 60 unit pieces of iron that we can't make an ingot out of. Can we melt these? We can. Oh, snap. That simplifies things a lot. I thought I was going to have to work those on the anvil. It looks like we're going to just melt them down, which is cool. I wonder if we have to refine... Probably got to refine this thing, right? Before we can melt it. I'm assuming. Yeah, that won't go in there. Okay, so they have to be refined. So I got to refine this thing. Boop, boop, boop. But actually, we probably don't have to break into small pieces then. We can just do it. Uh, just do this, right? And then drop this big chunk in. Take that out. Will it go in? Oh, no. It's got to be the small ones. <laughs> okay. It's too big. We, well, we're learning. We got to split it. There are a million things to choose from here. We're going to make a shovel, too. Uh oh, I hear a move. Nice. All right, made a hammer. We're gonna make a shovel and another sight. So we made five iron sights. Should last us a while now. Oh, snappers, guys! This is it—the final bite of the lemon cheese. It's kind of funny. It actually says it's sour. Like it knows it has lemons in, or, or maybe the milk was bad. I don't know. But it, it knows it's it's the sour stuff. I kind of, I don't know what the goal is with this. Like when it says sweet, sour, salty, bitter, savory, are we trying to get all five of those? Or, or what? Like, do we have one out of five? I'm not sure. I think uh, if you get those though, the, the food item gives you more food. Like it lasts longer. So eventually we're going to get to fancy cooking, I think, but not yet. We're not ready for it. We need better ingredients first. Um. I figured something out, guys. So, just made a bunch of new tools here. And before we, like, just go and wreck them, I think we can actually make the enchanting table. I think I figured out a way to do it. This thing over here, right? We have one jade. Um, 
Yeah, so check this out. There's two recipes for the enchanting table, like two main ones. One of them requires obsidian, which I don't think we can get. I think that's impossible till like late, late game. The other one, it requires six of these gems, regular sized, two basalt bricks and a bookshelf. I think the bookshelf is doable. Yeah, it's just books and planks. Yep, yep. So it turns out like we can't just use this gem, right? It's it's too big. It's like a flawless, like really good one. What you can do though is where'd I put my hammer? <laughs> Apparently you can just hammer it, I think. So let's try that out. Yeah, it gives you four then. Oh snappers. So we just need one more and we can do the enchanting table. Do we have one more? You can also combine the smaller ones into bigger ones, I think I saw. Yeah, it requires four, though, to upgrade. Hmm. Oh, we have one more. Okay, cool. Ooh, that's awesome. So that means it is doable, guys. I think we have some basalt bricks just laying around here, too, from an older project. Yeah, so we just need the bookshelf. And that shouldn't be hard to do. And then we can try out the enchanting. Oh, wait a second, we need books. So we did end up getting quite a few books, I think from generated structures, we broke them down and got them. So we'll be able to do a few of these. Uh oh, I have terrible memory. <laughs> Just ignore that, uh, pretend that didn't happen. Uh-huh, uh-huh, bookshelf, basalt, six gems, and we have an enchanting table. So this is what's uh, this is what's going to be interesting though. Like normally you need lapis to do enchanting, right? Lapis is in this pack. It's this kind of weird. Where did I put my lapis? It's probably by our blacksmith stuff over here. All right, somewhere we got lapis powder. Do we have any big lapis? No, just the powder. Okay, I'm gonna put this down to see what what it's like. Because again, you're not supposed to be able to do enchanting in Terraforma Craft. This is because of the mod pack. Um, if we put this in, yeah, it does let, let us do it. Oh, it doesn't require lapis at all. Oh yeah, this is uh, 1.7, right? This is a long, that was a long time ago. Is that before we, you needed lapis? I don't even know. It doesn't tell you what you get either. <laughs> oh man, I kind of, I kind of like that honestly with the new Minecraft. Um, so bronze sword. Let's just do a cheap. Uh, cheap level one. Bane of arthropods. Ooh, that's not very good. Well, you can't enchant everything, so you can't enchant the prospector pick. Axe. We got sharpness one. That's not ideal. Efficiency one. That's better. Mhm. Mm sharpness one. Efficiency one. Like getting one le one level or two levels is no big deal, really. Um, so let's enchant all of these. Oops. Oh, this is great. Um, we could set up a bunch of bookshelves, but it does, it will actually take a long time to get 30 levels. So we'll, we'll probably just do single level ones here. Efficiency one. That's good. Well, actually we want breaking more than anything. We're not really getting that. Let's try a bigger one. Let's try level six. Efficiency one as well. Yeah. I didn't think that would really help. Enchant our bow. Power one. Efficiency one. Unbreaking one. Okay, we can get unbreaking. That's like that's like the best one, I think. Efficiency one. Although on a pick, I kind of like efficiency. Oh man, look at all the all those shiny tools. <laughs> and we're out of levels now. So yeah, that's that's cool. We we can move this, right? Yeah. Just double checking. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a big game changer actually. Like that's gonna speed up our mining and everything if we have efficiency and, oh, this is gonna be great. Better sharpness on swords. Uh, we just need levels. And you'll notice now my health dropped majorly. <laughs> now that I spent those levels, like the levels give us higher max HP, you know? So we lost about 500 HP by using up all our levels there. So I'm kind of fragile again. Gotta be careful. Oh, I forgot, like we never even did our armor. That's another thing. Oh, now we can't though. Oh, because we got no levels. All right, I gotta, I gotta kill more mobs, I guess. Uh, but yeah, time to wrap up the episode, guys. We should finish up here. I saw this one's just waiting for us to claim it, so let's do that. 
another life. Um, should we do this one? Paper and markings. Paper and markings. That's like super quick. Paper. Oh, uh, an ink sack gives you 16 of those. Okay. Let's just make a bunch of blueprints here, I guess. Got seven of them. Go ahead and claim that one. That one's easy. Oh, and now uh, we've un unlocked the chain here. Reward bag or graphite? Ooh. We have lots of graphite. <laughs> Dirt. <laughs> yes. Oh, epic bag. Epic bag. Sound the alarm. Here we go. Gold, chalk, and another reward bag. This time it's a good one, though. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Toss that axe. All right, so that's it. Okay, so I want to try out the blueprint real quick here too. Can we use that on this or no? I think that's only for like chiseled blocks, like where you manipulate every pixel on it. You know, not on these, uh, not on these planks, I guess. Or else I'm doing it wrong. Do I need an inventory spot? No, you're supposed to be able to copy like uh, a block though, and then place it easily with the blueprints. That's the idea behind them. Uh-huh. Anyways, we might use that later, but for today... Oh, actually, I did... We could try it on this. Like, this is something I chiseled. Yeah, so you can copy this block. Give it a name. Corner. This is new. I've never seen this before with arrows. I don't think that used to have an interface, actually. Oh, did it? Did it make all of them that? Oh, it did. Oops. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I think if you have a brick, it can do it then. Or no, you gotta place it. You probably need a chisel, too. <laughs> oh, man. Should have just ended the episode, right? Uh, now I'm curious, though. Grab our chisel. Try it again. Nope. Okay, I'll have to look into how to use that. I don't know. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Now I wrecked the block. <laughs> we don't have one for here. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have yourselves a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.